Okay guys, this is uh, the final installment in this series of modeling the cutaway hospital operating room and I've gone ahead and finished up the modeling I think with uh, this piece of equipment and I've added the materials and the way I did that very simply was I brought in the image over here change this to a UV image editor and open the image wherever that may be where is it there it is okay and then I color picked so I created a material let's say this thing here you can see I've got blue all right I would have created the material I'll do another one here all right new and um, whatever, you know, I started with diffuse, I made a couple of changes, but I basically went like this, color picked, and let's say I wanted that blue. I just did that, okay, and applied that. Um, I'm gonna close that off. Uh, a couple of things I'll point out, and then I'll show you uh, the render of my materials. Um, there's the original okay and so here you know here's my here's my scene and uh, I've used most of the same colors but I, I did a little bit of different I didn't really like with this lighting the uh, the plasticky kind of stuff so I changed uh, a lot of the tubing to to black um, <clears throat> Then my angle, of course, is a little different. And I, I didn't model the clock. I just, in the end, I said, oh, forget it, I've done enough clocks. And so I'll just show you uh, a couple of these things. If we focus in on the tubing, uh, this is a, a curve. And so if I wanted to do another one of those, what I basically did was I said, uh, okay, we'll start down here. got a point shift s cursor to select it with my 3d cursor there all right and then I shift a curve path rotate y90 so I got it vertical like that went into edit mode and with it all selected I hit s to scale it down so it's a little bit more manageable vertex and then take it bring it up so we kind of start there and then I would just start um, from the side maybe grab these and pull them out like that that kind of thing started to do that You know, I basically did that until I liked the overall shape of this thing. And then in the curve menu here, I would choose full and start bringing up the, the bevel and the resolution. that kind of thing all right and just just manipulate it till I till I like the shape of this thing and apply my my material all right so that's how I did uh, you know similar to that that's how I did that 
Okay, so like I say, some of my colors are a little different. And uh, I added this round thing here. And this, because I, you know, the original diagram, I can't even tell. Maybe there's a hook, how that's attached. Um, that kind of thing. All right, so um, there's my there's my render of this thing. You know, keeping true to many of the colors. The lighting's not not great, but uh, but anyways, there it is. It looks looks pretty pretty cool. Um, just another another view right there. I like this one. Okay, I mean, I could keep working on this and working on the lighting, but I'm anxious to move on to something else. I, just, I wanted to see what this would look like uh, in 3D, and uh, we've done that now. And that pretty much uh, shows, shows what it is uh, in terms of the materials. This is my white shiny plastic. And I uh, use that for all of, of the, you know, all of this white stuff here. Pretty much everything that's white. Okay, even the, the, the windows here and the doors and the, that thing. And then I, I did the same thing for the black, okay. I just changed uh, some of these. I changed that to black. And I think I've made that darker black, left that white. All right, and then um, that's their floor there. My, there's my floor. It could be a little lighter, maybe a little shinier if you were going for that look. And to do that, it was simply this. It was a brick texture. These two colors are the same, so that I don't get like a lighter brick and then a darker brick or, or variations. They're all the same. And then the mortar is just a little bit darker uh, in between there. Okay, so all the bricks are the same sort of brown and slightly darker. And um, just go from, uh, I, I had to UV unwrap it. Well, it wasn't much. All you do is you, uh, you know, select it and just go UV unwrap. All right, and once that's done, you can use that uh, texture coordinate UV to vector. There's the bricks. Set the offset to zero, all right, so that they're not sort of staggered. They're just very regular pattern and then just adjust some of this stuff here the brick width and height uh, are the same okay plug that into diffuse you have to have that in there or else it turns out black uh, even though you think you got colors here you got to have that all right and uh, that basically is that so um, I'm gonna wrap it up at this point and get ready to move on to another one uh, either something like this or or whatever I'm going to model in Blender. So thank you very much for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed that series, and I look forward to seeing you in uh, one of the next projects. See ya.